Hey, this is Richard with Automate Everything. I'm finally back. And this time I'm gonna do something inside the house. So I wanna show an installation of some three-way switches. And I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace some dumb light switches with some smart switches. And my hope is, is that by doing this, this is considered probably a beginner to intermediate level sort of installation. It, it's really beginner level in terms of home automation. But I also think a lot of people are nervous when they have to deal with electricity, especially 120 volts. So my hope is, is that by doing a more complex switch installation, that it can at least inspire some people to try to do more DIY and take advantage of a really good and easy, low cost home automation. Okay, here I'm gonna show you guys what I'm actually trying to go for. So this is a four way switch installation. So as you can see, you've got three switches. And what that means is, is that I can control a light from three different places. Now this is the most complicated wiring setup you can do for a switch. And my hope is, is that by showing this type of installation, it can not only help people do the most complicated wiring setup you can try, but also that it would inspire people to do even simpler setups because if you can pull this one off, you can pull off anything. So first of all, the important thing to note here is this is the four way switch. So this switch has four wires coming off of it. And you can also see this is the one that's closest to the load. So that's how you know that you are in the right switch if it has the four wires coming off of it. And you obviously need a switch that's capable of doing that. So this particular model, the DZ6HD, it is capable of doing a four way installation because you see it has four terminals. So it can be used just like this. It doesn't have the same model name as this, but that's okay. As you can see, this is a Z-Wave switch. And this is where, this is your main switch, right? So your main switch is what goes to your lights. So that's where this switch is gonna go. Then you've got these two three-way switches, which are remote switches. These are not the same as the main switch. They only have three terminals for one. And also, they're not to be used as a main switch. Their specific purpose is to actually just be used as a remote or a slave to the main switch. So I've got two of those right here. So that's it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut power and I'm gonna remove the switches and I'm gonna take a look and see what we got and see if I, because the main thing I wanna be able to do is identify which switch needs to go where. That's very important. And I'm also gonna do this safely, so I'm gonna make sure I'm using the right parts. Um, so, uh, I've got a wire stripper and a meter and a, a uh, Phillips screwdriver. I also have a flathead laying around somewhere else. So let's go ahead and cut power and get started. Okay, so here's my switches. And one of the things that I've done here is I turned the power back on just so we can see again, otherwise it would be too dark. Um, so those wires are alive, I don't want to touch them right now. Um, but one thing I do want to show you guys is again, um, I'm pretty sure this is the load and this is the one that I have to put my little four-way switch on. And the reason I can tell is because if you look up in there, you can see that the wires are pointing up. So um, that's the very telling sign because obviously the wires pointing down, my load, which is my light, is obviously in the ceiling. That wouldn't make much sense for the wires to be pointing down, right? So this is more than likely a light load, but it's also gonna be a matter of trial and error, right? I may not always get it right. Um, so that's it for that one. So uh, we'll look at the other switches. So, okay, this is definitely the middle switch. The reason why is you see two red wires coming off of it. So I've got two travelers on this one. This is gonna be my middle switch. Even though it has four wires coming off of it, off of four terminals, it's actually a three-way switch, not a four-way. So that's really confusing. But um, this is definitely the middle switch. So by process of elimination, this is the switch that is going to from my breaker. And again, you can tell because you got a bunch of spaghetti wiring back there, a bunch of neutrals tied together, a bunch of line wires tied together, black wires. So that's definitely the breaker. So, uh, well, I don't want to say definitely because I can be wrong, but um, that's where my other three-way switch is going to go. So that should take care of the wiring. Um, another thing that I want to note is, is that when you look at these things, it's look at the colors of the terminals if you can, if that, that can usually help. So 
typically the align side or the side that's coming from the other switch is going into um, the gold terminal. The black is typically going to the load, to the load, and that's important because they're the same color, so you don't really know what's going to what. So the color of the terminals really helps there. So I'll probably mark that just to make sure that I don't lose that. And then the red is obviously another traveler wire. So that's how I'm going to wire this thing up. And I will show this all off in the schematic here in a second. All right, so looking at what we had before, here, I'll bring this over there so it's easier to explain it. Okay, so the one that goes into the red terminal, RD, actually goes to the black wire. That's really confusing, right? But that is the one that's going to the load. So what that is, is that's that wire down there. That's that one going into the black terminal. So the other black is the one that's coming from the line side, which I mentioned is the one that goes into that gold terminal. That's that one right there. That's that black wire, the one that I've removed. Um, the white obviously goes to the white. That's usually the easiest. The neutrals always match colors, so that's the easy one. And then the last one is that yellow slash red one, and that's that red wire right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and wire in my main switch and go from there. Okay, the wiring is complete. And as you can see, it works. So there is one correction I wanna make from the last video. I did mention that the black wire that was going to the black screw on the last switch, on this switch down here, I mentioned that this was the one going to the load and this is the one that was going to the line. That was actually incorrect. The black wire was actually going to the line and the, the uh, brass wire was going to the load. So I have to make that correction because when I hooked this up, it didn't work. And when I swapped those wires, it did work. So I'll just go over how the wiring is here. The black wire on here, which is the one that's going back to the other ones, that is that black wire on the top right there. And you can see it's just going straight into it. The yellow red wire, which is the one on the bottom, is the red wire. And the neutrals, those are just tied together like they are here. So you can see they're tied together. And then this bottom black wire, that's the load, that's the one going to the red. So you can see the red, if you trace it out, it goes to the black side of the load. And then there is the uh, ground wire. So that's it for that one. Okay, so here's where things get a little bit bizarre. So this is the middle switch. So what I did on here, you can see that the, uh, the yellow and the red wire, they are tied together. So that's what I did here, is the two travel wires are tied together by just being on the same terminal. The black wire is on this one, you can see is tied together with the switch behind it and the switch in front of it. So what I did was I took a jumper wire out of the black terminal and I wire nutted all black wires together. So that's how that one goes. The white wires are then jumpered together there, going into the same terminal, and then there's the ground. Now, this is the switch that's going to the breaker. And once again, if you look at on here, they're all tied together. So it goes from the breaker to the next switch. So I have a jump black jumper wire coming out of that one. And then one of them goes to the breaker. The other one goes to the next switch. The red wire just basically goes to the next one. So there it is, it's right there. The white wire is jumpered with all of the other. So I had other switches in here. So what I did was I just daisy chain them together. So that's a little trick you can do to prevent having a bunch of wire nuts. You can daisy chain your neutrals together. So that's what I did there. And as you can see, it works. So that's it for the wiring. Now for Z-Wave inclusion and to wrap this thing up. Okay, so the last part of this installation is Z-Wave inclusion. So right now it is just a dumb switch. That's not very useful. We wanna make it a smart switch. So let's get it on our Z-Wave network. So my personal automation system of choice is Home Assistant. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to configuration. And again, this can work for smart things or whatever else system you wanna go. Z-Wave. 
I'm going to add a node. Okay, don't think I pressed it. There we go. Add node. So it's an inclusion mode. Now I go to my main switch. Push up for about seven seconds. Wait for that light to turn. Flash amber. It's flashing amber. Now it's flashing green. And it's included because it automatically did the three flashes. So now uh, I go to my overview and I should look at my switches and I should see a new switch on there. So uh, not sure which one of those it is, but I definitely have a new switch. Let me see. Actually, uh, what I'll do, go to my lights here. Okay, there it is right there. So, see, it turns on and off. So there it is, a switch that's controlled from three different light switches, a four-way switch installation. Hope you liked it. If you did, like it, leave me a comment, let me know how you thought, and uh, I'll definitely do more of these. Thanks, guys. See ya. One quick update I want to do real quick before I shut this thing down. So obviously, even though it is working, see, it's still working. Um, I do want to uh, clean this up a little bit more. So I don't need that little pigtail coming off of it anymore. I looked at the wiring diagrams and took it a bit too literally because it actually does show three wires. But as you can see what I did here with the red wires, it also showed three wires there and I just took it straight into the switch. I can do the same thing with these black wires. So that's what I'm gonna do before I put this thing out because it's just gonna get too messy inside of that gang box. So much cleaner now. Those silly pigtails are out of there. Those black wires are going directly into that switch. So I'm gonna button this thing up. Finally, I'm signing out.